In this video, I'm going to show you how to support a vaulted roof for small load bearing exterior wall repairs. Small would be maybe four foot or less. Um, it could stretch up to six feet, but uh, you might need additional support for uh, larger wall repairs. And I'll try to make a video on that in the future also. Let's go ahead and take a look at kind of where the damage would be for a repair like this. If you have a, a framed floor, a wood framed floor, and you have some damage to your joists, maybe to the plywood, where you would need to support the wall because you'd be removing structural wall framing studs or posts, something like that, then uh, this method might work for you. Let's just go ahead and kind of zoom around, get an idea of what we're looking at. I removed another section or the other section of the house so that we could have a better idea um, what we're looking at and what type of support system we're going to use. Here's the first method and probably the most common that I have used. This would be to build a supporting wall, install some type of a framing plate. Um, you might want to level out the dirt um, and something like this. You can always use like a 4x12 or a 4x10 if you're looking for a little more support or stability. Um, but you could always do this by um, just kind of flattening the dirt out or using blocks, something to give you some extra support. Now, where you put the wall, how, how far away from the exterior wall will depend upon the repair. You might need to give yourself a foot. You might need to move it a little farther this way. The closer to the wall, the less the distance that the rafters will have to span to carry the load. Remember that some roof rafters uh, might be designed for a 12 foot span. And if you start to bring this wall into a uh, 13 or 14 feet span, uh, then uh, you might uh, end up, uh, you could weaken the structure. I doubt if it would fail, but uh, it would be definitely something to consider. So I like, I like to keep these walls as close as I can, depending upon the type of repairs. If you got to, got to knock the stucco off or something like that, you're not going to want these wall studs in your way and might need to go to where you support the wall on the inside. This right here, uh, I have two two by fours. Um, you can use two by six. And one of them is going underneath the rafter and the other one is next to the rafter. This way you can nail or screw the stud into the rafter. You can screw or nail the two studs together. And you can always use one um, wall stud if you want and maybe put a put some type of a flat piece of building hardware on here where you can screw into it some type of a framing plate. You know, you can uh, just get, find something like a flat A35 and screw it into each to make a nice connection. I mean, the last thing you want to do is nail this thing in or, or do something and have your wall exposed and uh, have one of these things come apart. So a screw would be nice. Screws would be nice for something like that. You can always use supporting walls on the inside. And do not forget that if you are doing something like this on a concrete foundation, you probably won't have a problem. You can just uh, put a 2x6 or 2x4 or something like that on the bottom. But if it's a wood framed floor, you'd probably need to find out which way the ceiling or the floor joists go. If the floor joists go this way, perpendicular, I should say, to your framing plate or your temporary framing plate, then you're going to be fine. If they're running the same way, if the joists are running parallel to the wall, then you might need to create another type of support system, something where you would run a board, um, <clears throat> maybe something six foot this way, a two by four or a two by 10, something like that. And then you might space one, two, three, four of them, and then run your board perpendicular to those. You're gonna need some additional support somehow. And if you need more help 
on that I will see if I can make a video and I'll put a link in here if uh, if when when I do so you would just build a wall screw it into the roof rafters you're actually gonna to have to find the roof rafters I'm assuming that you're not going to be ripping the drywall off to make this type of a repair if you are going to remove the drywall then you'd be able to attach the wall studs and the framing plate to the roof rafters directly if you're not going to remove the drywall you're not going to remove the insulation that something like this um, w w probably uh, would work just fine Framing plate, again, you can always use a bigger plate, um, 2 by 10s 4 by 10s something like that. Same thing applies on the outside. And you might need to build two different walls. You might need to have one wall on one side of a wall, one wall, one wall on the other side. Another thing you might consider is building a partial wall on the outside. If you have something in the way, you could have uh, plants in the way, something that you're not going to be able to, uh, something that won't carry a lot of weight or support. You might have a, a deck in the front that uh, isn't very strong. You can always build a partial wall in the front and then use a partial wall in the inside. And you, if you're looking for some extra support, you might have a tile roof. You might have a, a um, roof with a lot of weight on it somehow, um, some type of a heavy roof, larger framing members. Um, then you might want to build a wall on the inside and a wall on the outside to get some extra support. The main thing you're going to need to consider is to is to not build the wall, avoid building the wall in the way of the repair area. If you need to get to this area here and you have a wall up against it, it's going to be difficult to work on. So give a little bit of thought into this before you figure out where you want to locate the walls and uh, make sure that you're not uh, putting them in your way and you won't be able to do any work or put them in the way you know and, and again these are all mistakes I've made that's kind of why I'm sharing them with you I've built walls like this and then I couldn't open the door to get uh, in and out of the house and had to walk all the way to the back go through the um, back of the house speak you know because I'd block this area off like a numbskull so uh, little bit of wisdom there I'm sharing with you hope you don't make the same mistakes and remember these are just examples these are not the only methods or the the most effective um, the best uh, out there and things change if you have a better idea feel free to leave it in the comment area and maybe I can make a video out of it uh, and attach a link to this one and share it with others as well